What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to see if we can make some more Void Campaign, not Campaign, no, 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 Void Vortex progression on our free-to-play account. Uh, we're into fire, we might be able to make it out, I feel like we might need our Starwing Jara built first, but that is still a ways off. One thing, until Chinese New Year, I kind of want to save gems up, I really want to go back to buying like one core uh, every single day to try to get more resources, but one thing I really want to do, uh, this is definitely not optimal, I want to try to prioritize getting these boxes because I can really use a lot of spiritual essence, and we do have some profit orbs to spare. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use them all in shadow. Because if we are building Jara as the next Transcendence Hero, well, if we do want to get her in a residence even of some low levels, I mean, it really depends. I don't know if we're going to focus on her or just put everything into Star Swordsman Machman. Because as you guys know, she is one of the tenants and Saya is an assassin and that's really not great for stats. It would be better if I could put Jara in here, to be honest. So that might be the route, but just in case, just in case, uh, I want to take a look at Jara. Pretty much all shadow heroes, like straight across the board. There's like weird Holmes Young in here, but Tix, Annabelle, uh, Ithaqua, those types heroes. We might do that and I want to give ourselves some options. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some profit orbs this week. We're going to do what? 80, 160, so we're going to end at 24. Hopefully we hit some good copies because we do need some. So let's get going. At least give us some five stars here. That's what we could really hope for here. Uh, and then we're going to get some other rewards during this event as well. Uh, one five star here. Not really great so far. I'm used to seeing like no good hero copies, but like a ridiculous number of five stars. This is not what is happening right here, though. This is the most four stars I have ever seen in a row. We did get a Lutz right there. Could we maybe hit a decent hero copy? At the very least, we do have a lot of branches storing up, so we can use those to swap into hero copies for a residence, mainly just to give her some more speed potentially, but we'll have to see how that actually plays out. These are absolutely garbage. We just had like the worst summons I've ever seen. But on a side note, we do get some shadow boxes down here, which is cool. We also need to jump into Fantasy Factory and get these done. So I know you guys hate watching me do this part, so I'll skip it for you. Okay, the suboptimal run is done. Let's get our treasure boxes down here. And I believe that gives us everything we need right now, including one really important piece right here. This chest that has our last Mockman copy. So what we can do is we can grab that copy out here. I think we still need to build a 10 star though, right? We have a nine star sitting there. We just have to turn it into a 10 star. And I think the plan was to build a penny... I think that's still the plan. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, build a 10 star penny or at least see if we have what we need already. So we got that, we got that, we got the three. That's good. The Inosuke doesn't matter for us right now. Probably never building a sword flash. Food is the issue. Man, maybe I should have done some orbs in here. We could just feed off the sword flash though. I want to keep the homes young. We have like six, seven, eight copies. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I mean, is technically enough? Is this optimal? Absolutely not. But when did we ever really care about optimal? We care about just immediate now gratification <laughs> of getting our hero built. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh man. I gotta unlock one of those Shias. Honestly, at this point, I don't think we're ever building a Shia on this account. It just doesn't seem like something that is even needed since we already have Star Swordsman Mockman. Fifth time is the charm on this build, boys and girls. Here we go. We got all these pieces together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I am happy with that. I'm fine. I'm good. Okay. So that does mean we can now get you leveled up right here. And there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Um, why is that HP? That should not be HP. Not like we're ever going to use you for anything. You're literally here just for statistics. <laughs> just to transfer stats over to our Lord of Fear Aspen. It actually does put them way up there. So that is a nice little side grade. And then as well, we're going to go ahead and do what? This. 
One last point here. Oh, no, we need another 10 star. I totally forgot about another 10 star. We'll be able to get another 9 star from the event. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot we're going for the guaranteed ones now. Hey, Hidden Ignis is pretty sweet. We actually got the hero we wanted and nothing there. Okay, so that's fine. I do probably want to change this, though, to, like, Annabelle. Probably. Um, yeah, I mean, that's good. Wait, hold on. I need the 10 star here now. I just, oh, I'm just so stupid. Honestly, we could just regress the Rogan at this point and use that food for other projects. Cause there's not like a single game mode. I really use our Rogan in right now. And we could start building up tenants over here. Maybe we'll hold off. I mean, it does give him more levels, which would be nice to have. It really, really would. But do we need it right now? Not necessarily. Let's see what we can do with what we got. Let's let's see what we can do. So let's jump in over here. Uh, most of these should be pretty solid now. We got our hero setups good, I think. I mean, I guess this actually would be a game mode that we can put Rogan in. And it would be fine, and we should be able to crush most of these into fire because we've already been able to beat them in the past, especially if we have the Transcendence Protection. That'll be huge. These will be easy fights with Transcendence Protection. This one could be rough. Yeah, we'll come back to that one. This one could be rough, and this one should be easy. Maybe not. I mean, it is, what, three Sherlock, three carries. That is a pretty nasty wave. We do have some huge damage coming in round one. Could you please, uh, that's not great. Do I not have Purify on him? I actually might not have Purify. Because <laughs> I think I was doing Void Campaign stuff where Purify really didn't matter. I think we might get the W right here though, right? No? Really? Really? What's, oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. <sighs> oh, that's right. I did actually have mark removal, which might pay off. Good lord, the carry just keeps dodging everything. So yeah, at least we're getting rid of that mark there, but like these carries are gonna be tricky to beat. We're like not gonna get actives off. Oh jeez. Hey, we did get the W though. <laughs> lord, if you're asking, kind of carried us right there, it feels like. So let's get our protections up here, hopefully. Please, there we go. That's gonna be an easy W. Same thing here. Although this is only area five, I should be saving him for three and four and even one, but we can see what we can just get easy clears on so far. I mean, he's really crushing. It's been a while since I've tried this, so this is a lot easier than I remembered it being. I guess we can go for this planet here. We actually just blew right through to fire area four, which is very, very surprising. It's like, what was happening? It's just lagged up on us right there. We can see what ones we can beat. Uh, I can't beat that one. Probably can't beat that one. When there's too many carries, I think we need the protection. Like, there's no way we can't. Or there's no way we can get around it without protection on Transcendence. Even then, it might be a little tricky. It's better to re-roll these, maybe. We might spend some gems if this goes well. Just to get out of the fire today. There we go, because we're already in area two. I think we might just spend some gems. We do have an abundance, or I should say enough right now to make a run for it. E, that's scary. E, I don't like that one. That's an easy one. Oh, we actually haven't beaten this planet before. Can't skip it for once. All right, let's go. Big Machman attack taken out. The Garuda is absolutely key for us here. Aspen kind of doing a good job here. We do have a... Oh, they're draining energy. The stupid Gustin. <sighs> this could be interesting. Um, I feel like we should get this one done. I think we are going to push it because we're already in area two. Most of these seem doable. We might grab protection. Uh, I think that'll just be the little difference. But before we push too much, make sure they're set up real quick. We got crit, crit attack. I mean, the carries are annoying, so that is kind of helpful. Crit damage, crit damage reduction. That feels good. And then same thing pretty much over here. Yeah, that'll probably have to do for the time being. Get back over here to Vortex. Let's add some protections on because we do have 23 of them. So we should be in a good spot just to crush these at this point. Yep, 
There's a nice kill right there. Honestly, I really want to re-roll that planet. I really don't even want to try doing that one. I'd rather re-roll the planet than re like give us more attempts. Um, let's keep going here. We might get a win here with protection. Maybe. No, we're going to re-roll it. I hate carries. Carries are the worst thing possible for us. Sometimes we can beat them. Sometimes we can't. Let's go for protection here. Should be an easy win. I mean, the Garudas are a little annoying, but okay. Defire Area 1. This is going to get us better clears as well. The auto smashes, which is nice. Everything has the Garudas and the carries, huh? All right. Um, let's go around. Let's get protection for our transcendence on every one of these. And then we could go for more protection if we care about it. I just want to make sure we do have it on every planet. Okay. Now. Let's just get 10 more of these because I think we're going to re-roll some of these planets. However, this one I think might be fine. It does have carries, but I feel like the other heroes we might be able to take care of pretty easily. We're keeping Aspen in the front row mainly just because I want to try to keep those carries CC'd as much as, as possible. And they're usually right there in that front row. And he can still fear the back row with his basics, so it's kind of like a good combo. Yeah, this one could be difficult if he doesn't get, like, an insane round one active because carry sticks around, Amon Ra sticks around. We could give this one a couple smashes. We might be able to just brute force our way through it real quick. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this one seems doable as well just because there's only the one carry. And if we can kill the Garuda off early, that would be amazing. Getting the Amon Ra down two would be cool. Nah, that, this, this, that's not a clear right there. We can get it, though. We can definitely get it with enough juice from our Star Swordsman Machbin in round one. There we go. Yes, take out the Garuda. That's the big threat here. Others can be a threat if we can keep that carry down for more actives. That would be awesome, too. The carry is brutal. Why did he not get rid of the mark? Was he sealed off and that stopped to purify? Could have been what happened. Hmm. Let's use a little extra protection here. Honestly, let's even get forest just for our Rogan here. Yeah, these actives are so random. Maybe we should re-roll some of these. To better target so honestly let's just do like 15 more i don't mind spending the gems right now if it means we can get easy clears like this one right here this should be a cinch basically the optimal pve wave from way back in the day <laughs> you have ignis feeding more energy that's cool we don't really need to worry about cc so long as our ignis does die but there are times that that does not happen Yep, very easy. We got that one done. Three more planets to go. I feel like this one should be doable. But again, anytime there's Garuda and Carry, it does get a little sketchy. Amon Ra's can be annoying with the shields with our big active hit. Big active there. That's cool. Carry should be coming back. Hopefully we can clean this up, though. We just need Carrie not to hit our Mockman like over and over again. There we go. Got the clear on this planet. This one, I kind of want to reroll. The two carries kind of scare me. We got a very easy to clear wave here. And then the next task is Vanquisher. Now, that one I think we're going to have to wait a little bit longer on because we don't even have, like, the star spawn to support this. This should be an easy W right here. And then the last planet here, we can try one attempt. We'll try one attempt. We'll get our protections. That should be solid. Yeah, not killing that Groot around one spells. There smells like disaster to me. Groot is alive. She doesn't have an active, though. Carries still kind of suck, though. Not a fan of those carries in the back row. Ugh, yeah, it can be brutal. Let's just spend four, and let's try one reroll. Yeah, that should be a nice, easy one to finish this Defire run. 
It's been a while since I tried it, so it's nice to get the better smash now. Have you came across Sherlock? Probably not the best idea. Our swordsman Machman now is going to be the slowest on the battlefield. And he shrunk. Oh, and he's dazzled. That this is not a good combo right here. I'm going to have to move these heroes around just a little bit. Yeah, this is, this is not going to end well. Okay. Um, one more attempt. Let's go. Let's go. One more attempt. Let's put you actually in like the last slot here. Do something like that. Move the heroes around a bit. I kind of want him across from Olivia so we have a higher chance of killing Olivia. That would be the most optimal. Or just keeping her locked down so she doesn't get... Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I want. I want the Olivia gone. She is the biggest pain in the butt on the entire battlefield. And now we should be pretty good to finish this Sherlock off. One more active from Mockman should do it very easily right here. Boom, we got Defire cleared. Not too bad. Now, we might want to try one planet because if we do clear one planet, um, what you do get is the better rewards. You always want to try to clear one Vanquisher planet every single week at the least. That's kind of like the best thing to do. Um, that way it's not horrible. We can just sink the rest of our stuff into here. That's fine. Give us one more attempt. Let's see if we can actually get this one clear. It could be a bit of a challenge here. We got to honestly just kill. Yeah, the, getting the penny out of here is really important. The Garuda is cool if we can keep her feared because then she just won't get any energy. Use an attack. That was a really, really crappy active. It just simply healed the entire enemy team. Oh, man. This one could take a few attempts. I'm going to buy six, and I think we might re-roll the planet. Oh, God, that's worse. Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to do one more re-roll. One more. One more. Ugh, it doesn't have Garuda, though, which is kind of cool. Uh, and no Amon Ra. So this might not be the worst case scenario. Got rid of the Drake, which is cool. You can take out the Russell. That would be awesome. Russell is taunted, which... Never mind, he's dead. <laughs> I'll take that. It's going to come down to can we kill the two carries, honestly. That's going to be the big task for us. Almost. Come on, Lord Fear Aspen. Get the W. Awesome. So now we got more Stellar Shards. And we are going to get the Smash for these rewards. Getting us those toolboxes and those awesome materials. So not too bad. And we get more Stellar Shards. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So... Yep, you are done for now at 60. We are going to put everything else into your tree to try to get us up to level 80 because we do have sublimation for this too. Um, at least I think we do. Yeah, passive skill too. I accidentally took a chest out and we also have more here. So we got some progression pace basically to have. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Defire is done on the Vanquisher. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.